Hi there, Lee Griggs Arnold, Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. And just going to go through the curvature shader. So the curvature shader is useful for creating procedural wear or dirt maps in conjunction with a noise shader, which we'll go through in a second. Uh, so you can see here, if we don't render the curvature shader, we get this, just chrome shader. And then with the curvature shader, you can see it's adding dirt to all the nooks and crannies of the model. OK, there's also this written tutorial. If you want to, if you want to follow along, as uh, a seen file in there for all the plugins, I'll put links in the description. So we've got a giant mech model here. Let's start off by creating a standard surface shader. Call that paint. And we'll just give that a green color. And just duplicate that. Call that metal. And make it a dark gray. Increase the metalness. And now we just want to mix those two together using a mix shader. You could also use a layer shader if you wanted. I'm just going to drag the paint onto shader one and metal onto shader two, the mix shader. Now we just need to assign the mix shader to the mech. Okay, so currently the mix shader is blending paint green paint with the metal underneath it so now we can use the curvature shader to create a wear and tear effect on the edges of the model so we go to the mix weight and add the curvature shader there and just connect the out color R to the mix the curvature shader so you can kind of start to see it here, but it's not very pronounced. If we increase the multiply, you should see it better. So at the moment, by default, it's set to convex. We can also set it to concave if you wanted to, to get a reverse effect around the edges. Now, it's looking a bit smoother on the edges. We can use a noise shader to break up those edges. I'm going to connect a noise shader to the bias. The bias affects the fall off of the curvature. And let's use a cell noise in this case. And again, our color R to the bias. And let's change the cell noise to cell. See how it's breaking up those edges. Might want to change the scale, maybe. So we get bigger chunks of paint coming off the edges here. Also, I increase the number of octaves to get more chips. Uh, let's try maybe something like an alligator noise. So yeah, that's an introduction to the curvature shader in Arnold. Thanks for watching. Bye.